Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're looking at three steps that you want to go through to make sure your phone is clear before you sell it or give it away to somebody. And make sure you stay right to the end for a special tip for anyone that's buying an iPhone second hand. The Tech Doctor is here to help you learn about technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and repair things when they get broken. If you've got an old iPhone, here's three steps that will help you when it's time to get rid of that phone. Firstly, we're going to back it up or transfer it to a new phone. Then we're going to log out of your iTunes account on the phone and then wipe it clean so that it can go to somebody else. Make sure you stay right to the end of this video for a tip on buying a second-hand iPhone and something you really want to test. Firstly, we want to make a backup because it's just safer to make a backup. You may all of a sudden remember later that there was this photo that you can't replace on that phone. So it's best to make a full backup just to be sure. The easiest way to do this and make sure you get everything is to plug it into a laptop or desktop computer running iTunes. You'll have to trust the computer on the phone itself, then select the phone in iTunes, go down to the manual backup, select to this computer and backup now. This may take a minute or two or quite a bit longer depending on how much stuff you've actually got on your iPhone. But at least once it's done, you've got a safely backed up copy of everything. The other thing you may want to do at this point is transfer everything to a new phone. This is as simple as bringing the two phones into proximity with each other with the new phone started up and your old phone ready to go. The transfer process is pretty simple, but I'll link a full video of it up here when it's ready soon. The second thing you want to do on your old phone is sign out of your Apple ID. The main reason for doing this is if you then hand that phone on to somebody, you don't want it to be stuck locked to your Apple ID, which can and does happen. To do this, we go into the settings app. Then you click on your name at the very top of the front page where it says Apple ID. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and press sign out. You'll need to type in your Apple ID password in order to verify that it is you that's signing out and then your iPhone is safely free of all your Apple information and you're ready to go on to step three. Step three is to wipe the phone. This time we want to go into settings and then scroll down to general. Scroll right down towards the bottom and click reset and then we want to erase all content and settings. This will get rid of absolutely everything off your iPhone and make it fresh clean as it was when it came out of the box ready to hand off to a new owner. So that's my three tips for preparing an iPhone for sale. If you're buying a second-hand iPhone, what you really want to do is actually go through the setup process just to make sure that the phone isn't locked to the seller's Apple ID. It happens a lot. People buy an iPhone, it's locked, then they've either got to find a way to get the Apple ID and password and nobody wants to give those details away. And it's all just really, really awkward. And it can all be saved by actually starting the phone up stepping through the start of the process and making sure that you can actually get to the iPhone home screen without being asked for an Apple ID and password. It's a simple thing, but it saves a whole heap of angst down the road. I hope that was useful for you. My question for today is, have you ever been stuck with a locked device because you don't know the Apple ID and password? Did you actually find a way around it? There are all sorts of services out there that claim to do it, and I have had some success, but not with every device. Let me know what your experience is down below. The Tech Doctor is here to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. Learn about technology, protect yourself, and repair it when things go wrong. There's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the subscribe button down here and then click the notify bell, you'll be sure to be notified of all the new videos when they come out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.